Well, what a difference a day makes, huh? Peacock is now available on Fire TV. This is a big deal because for the almost a year, Peacock has not been available as an official app for Fire TV. You had to sideload it, and we had numerous videos on how to do that. But now Peacock is available on Fire TV through its normal app store. If you look for it as Peacock, we're going to give that a shot. Peacock, there we are. You might not run across it immediately. This could be because you don't have it yet. You do see it that it's we just passed it. Or it could be that you need to update your Fire TV. So just to make sure that your Fire TV is fully updated, you want to go over to the settings section. There isn't anything that says update in the settings. So what you actually roll to is down at the bottom where it says my Fire TV. And it starts on about, which is actually where you will go to do your update. So we click up here to about. Go to check updates. And press the center button. And it is all up to date. But if you haven't updated your Fire TV before you start trying to mess with Peacock, do so. And do yourself a favor, before you try to add Peacock, go ahead and go to the Peacock website and either create a profile for free or sign in. This will make setting things up a lot faster for you. So we did a search for Peacock again. It's right here in Apps and Games, and we're going to add it. Boy, isn't this easier than using the downloader. We were lucky to have it when we needed it, but now you can just get Peacock just like you can all of the other major apps. You click on it by setting download. It tells us that we don't have enough space here, so we'll click on manage apps and see what we've got in the way at the moment. Even though it does say it's installing. So it, that takes us into the manage installed applications menu. And what do we have that we don't necessarily use? We have the Xfinity Stream app, which I downloaded once just to see what it would look like, and I couldn't even do anything with it because I don't live in a place that has Xfinity. So we're going to go ahead and uninstall that. And yet, you might have noticed in the right-hand corner, it says that Peacock is in fact downloaded and ready to launch. So we just gave ourselves a little more working room for the future, and we're going to jump in on Peacock. And you see now it shows up as a recently used app. Those of you who were sideloading it might remember, often you couldn't find an icon for Peacock. You know, those days are gone because, like I said, this is an official Fire TV app. So, when you launch Peacock for the first time, it will take a moment. It always seems to take a while for Peacock to launch. But you get this screen. And you'll notice there are two ways to sign in. It starts off with this, where you would set up a new account. If you don't have Peacock yet, you can create an account here and sign on in. Though, I just always find it easier to use a keyboard, even on a tablet. So, that's why I suggested you go to the website. If you are a subscriber already, go into the right-hand corner and click Sign In. You'll notice that it doesn't say anything about creating a password here. And, like I said, I like to do this via computer, and you'll notice down in the left-hand corner it says, Too much to type? Activate on your phone. You don't have to use your phone. You can use a computer, you can use a tablet, laptop, whatever you want. In fact, I highly recommend something with a full keyboard. So, go to this website, peacocktv.com slash tv, and you'll just have a little bar where you're going to type in whatever code it asks you, which is under number two. Don't type that one in. S-8-A-A-E-E -E is not your code. It's my code. But you'll get your own code. And when you get to it, you're going to sign in using that. 
after you do so, you will see the screen change on your Fire TV and jump into where you have profiles. If you've already set up profiles, you can jump into your choice. Otherwise, it's easy to set up. And there you are. There's Peacock. This is the full version of Peacock. And good news, you won't have to worry about the updates anymore because, again, because Peacock is in the Fire TV store now, that means that any updates will be done through Fire TV. There are ways to create multiple accounts, or actually multiple profiles within an account. And you see that we've got the Peacock Premium service. This is the $4.99 version. Peacock Premium gives you ad-supported access to everything in its lineup, while the ad-free version is $9.99 a month. You can go through and read information about privacy. In this section also, there is a good section I want to show you, just so you know. While we do make a lot of help videos about things like Peacock, Peacock does build in a little bit of support on its own that we'll show you. Up in the help section, if you run into problems with things like subtitles or some of the other settings within the app, there is a bit of written content here to kind of give you a feel for what you might need to do. Of course, if you're using the app at the moment that you're trying to figure something out, it might be difficult. Maybe go in and look at the help section via a separate device. But once you get in, if you haven't used Peacock before, you'll see that there's a lot, there's, there's a decent amount to offer. For $4.99, this isn't, you know, this isn't a high-end premium product, but its movie selection is growing. It's got a lot to pull from. You'll see that it's got the Purge series. It has the Ghostbusters movies, which of course are from the 80s, but they're kind of classics these days. There are numerous categories of offerings. Its TV show section is stocked with NBC-based stuff and Universal shows in general. The sports section of Peacock is heavy into Olympic sports as well as NHL at the moment. NHL stuff is going to be migrating over to ESPN Plus in the next year or so. But anything from NBC Sports is going to have a little hub here in Peacock. And you might notice over at the top of the screen next to sports is WWE. Peacock does not include WWE in the sports section the way that some streaming products do. For instance, I believe Roku has had the WWE network listed under sports. And, you know, some people gave them flack for that because we, well, wrestling is not actually a sport. Okay, just said it. I hope it didn't offend anybody. But. The WWE library, though, is an important part of Peacock that's joined in in the past year. What you get with the WWE section is everything that the WWE slash WWF put out from the 80s on, as well as a lot of content from other promotions that Vince McMahon bought over time, including the WCW slash NWA. You know, if you're a wrestling fan, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not... Don't worry about it. But you see, for instance, clicking on WrestleMania, which has always been their key event, you can go all the way back to WrestleMania 1 with old Mr. T and Hulk Hogan, brother. So there's a lot there for wrestling fans on their own. That's you know, This actually kind of replaced the WWE Network as far as apps go in the United States. So all the biggest wrestling stuff is there on Peacock already. So it's very much worth mentioning, especially if you're a wrestling fan that has a Fire TV. The upcoming pay-per-views for wrestling are going to be on Peacock. So moving forward, there is other stuff on Peacock. There's a news section. This is going to have everything, a lot of things from NBC News, MSNBC. You can find program replays, and there's a lot out there. There isn't anything that's the live news feeds. You're still going to have to go through their news channels on that. And last but not least, you'll notice the channels section up there. That is actually a live channel section that 
polls from both NBC and Universal Programming, as well as other kind of cool internet-based clips, funny things, fun stuff like that. So that's Peacock on the Fire TV. I kept telling people it wasn't going to be forever before this came on, and it should be no big coincidence that it is launching right before the Olympics starts. Peacock's putting a big bet on Olympic viewership and will be funneling a lot of content into Peacock during the sports event. I hope you found that helpful. I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please subscribe, click the bell for updates, and see what you can do to help us keep growing and keep spreading the word and the news about streaming and cord cutting. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.